One of the most profound realizations of physics. This concept changed the very way of your reality. S spooky action at a distance. Uh, I'll be back. Six months later. I'm already. Spooky action at a distance, a term coined by Albert Einstein, describes Einstein's view of quantum entanglement. Bell's theorem was soon disproved by Einstein, an event described as one of Einstein's greatest mistakes. But, what is it? Here, I have two special coins. The thing is, they always have opposite states when I throw them. We call these coins entangled. In other words, knowing one coin state will always tell you the state of the other. Instead of coins, let's think of two entangled particles, Alice and Bob. Instead of measuring heads or tails, we measure these particles spin. A property similar to heads or tails, the spin is either up or down. If we measure Alice and determine it has spin up, we immediately know that Bob has spin down relative to that direction, even if they are light years away. Now some might think this is a cute long distance relationship, but Einstein thought of violating special relativity as no information can travel faster than the speed of light. This would lead to the famous EPR paper, in which Einstein and Alice claimed that the couple had hidden variables that contained information on exactly what measurements to give. You can see that Einstein is kind of jealous of their own hands. This seemed to resolve Einstein's dilemma, but is it true? Then came John Sorrow Bell, a scientist that advised an experiment to test Einstein's theory. Consider two detectors, each is in one of three settings, which are chosen and changed at random. Consider hidden variables as some sort of plan which is required to give opposite spins only when the couple is measured in the same setting. One plan is Alice giving measurement up in all settings and Bob giving measurement down in all settings. Another would be the spins alternating, such that Alice spin up in setting 1, down in setting 2, and so on, with Bob doing the opposite. We can keep track of the second plan with the table. In plan 1, the detectors always measure opposite spins. In plan 2, the detectors read different spins 5 out of 9 times. Therefore, if Einstein is correct, we expect to see different spins at least 5 out of 9 times. But well, we see different spins only 50% of the time. Let's see what quantum mechanics predicts here. Let's say Alice measured up using setting 1. There's a one third chance that Bob is also measured using setting 1. This always gives us opposite spins. We now know that Bob has spin down relative to that direction, and that the angle between Bob's spin and the axis of measurement is 60 degrees. Bell utilized the fact that when spin is measured and an angle is shown, the probability of being detected as spin up is the squared cosine of half the angle. We then have that Alice and Bob have different spins 50% of the time. There we have it. Einstein's hidden variable approach was ingeniously ruled out. But what does that mean? The conclusion that Bell reached applies to either locality, the concept that objects are spatially separate cannot affect each other, or realism, the concept that a value or property exists before it is measured, must be violated. However spooky, or not, that might seem, deciphering the romance of the quantum Romeo and Juliet is vital, especially in the development of super fast quantum computers. So, if life ever separates you and that special someone, remember Alice and Bob, because no matter how far, love is love.